According to the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America, more than 27 million people in the U.S. have asthma. That's about one in every 12 people. And a study conducted by the U.S. Senate Committee on Health found inhalers in this country were vastly more expensive than other countries. For example, GlaxoSmithKline charged $319 for an inhaler sold in the U.S., but just $26 for the same inhaler in the United Kingdom. Dr. Jim Harris, an allergist with the South Bend Clinic, says this price cap will save money and, more importantly, lives. These really are life-saving medications, and they reduce the cost of hospitalizations and even prevent death in asthmatics. So I think there's been a lot of pressure, just like there was with insulin. Uh, the Inflation Reduction Act is part of that. Uh, part of that is pressure from uh, patient groups. Dr. Harris says some patients couldn't even afford quality inhalers and would have to settle for cheaper but less effective alternatives. For anybody that really has to pay the full cost of that, it's almost prohibitive. They almost can't afford it at all because you're talking about several thousands of dollars each year. Uh, for those that even with uh, high co-pays, even for them, it's, it's a struggle sometimes. Michael Frisk has been an asthmatic all his life. He's currently using an inhaler that is less effective but cost efficient. This price cap will change that. Sometimes I would go without an inhaler because of the cost, you know, because I pay out of pocket. And if the cost is too high, I would just go without it. Yeah, with the price drop, I'll switch to a medication that's more effective and suits my needs better, which is always welcome. Thanks for watching. Here's another story you may like. And subscribe to the WSBT 22 YouTube channel.